I've been having a lot of fun playing LEGO Fortnite, but there's a couple of things that this game is missing. Now, I trust that the game's just going to get better and better over time, but the biggest problem is immediate once you start unlocking toys. You try to build a car, and it just doesn't really do anything. You put some wheels on a platform, nothing. You use an activation switch, nothing. All you can do is put thrusters on it and go in a straight line. And if you don't line everything up exactly perfectly, you're also going to zoom around and have all kinds of problems. I mean, this doesn't feel like it was ready to launch. You only have one weird dynamic platform. And the biggest thing is no steering wheel. Was, was this not tested? Could they not have just put in a steer, steering wheel? The game's been out for a few days even. How have we not gotten a patch that adds in the steering wheel so we have a functioning car? I did want to note since making and re-uploading this video that the LEGO Fortnite Twitter has confirmed steering wheels will be added in the game. They made one of their tutorial tweets showing the assembly of a wheel and then driving away from a brute, but they deleted it because it showed things that aren't possible. The team is working on ways for you to be able to steer some of the amazing things you're building, but we're not quite there yet. Keep your eyes peeled for more info in the future. Awesome. Also, you can't manually turn the dynamic platforms, which doesn't make things better, and the rockets eventually run out of energy, so you have to keep hitting the switch. So we need an engine. Yeah, we have the LEGO building game, but we don't have any kind of LEGO car building system. And I'm sorry to interrupt your content, but I gotta plug G Fuel real quick. It's my favorite energy drink. It's the only thing keeping me going for making all these guides. It's also great for fueling your gaming grind, so please check it out. We got tons of great flavors. Also, you can check the on-sale page, get a little bit of savings, and then use code VERLICIFY for 20% off your entire order. Thanks for sticking around. Now I'm not up to date with the latest LEGO racing games, apparently it's called 2K Drive, but they have a custom builder for cars. So if you have a LEGO game, which includes wheels, you need to have a car builder. I mean, there was a really good car builder in LEGO Racing on the Nintendo 64, over 20 years ago. And Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts could pull it off. So, I get that it's not a major part of the game, like villages and exploration and survival crafting is a thing, but... This, this could have just a steering wheel, and it's a hundred times better, and they just don't. Okay, fine. Asking for a super complex builder, that might be a little much, but at least let us get the resources back when we break the toys. For some reason, the platform does it, but nothing else. Which also brings us to the balloons. Why doesn't the switch just automatically work to turn on and off balloons? That way we can make some kind of cool flying machine. Also, same thing for the switch. Like... This is, this is just not great. It's, it's unusable in its current state. Activation switches power the entire build, which means you have to do some really jank and complex stuff to make it to where individual things can be activated. It doesn't even seem intended in any way. So yeah, it's like you can't turn on the activation switch for the balloon, turn on the other one for some thrusters, and then skirt around your world. And that's kind of an important thing because the world gets pretty big. And if you're a long ways from the biome that you need to go to, there's no fast travel. There, there's nothing, so you're just kind of like stuck running forever. If you play with stamina on, then it's even worse, and you have like a one-time use machine that's really expensive to kind of partially get you there. And then the cinematic trailer puts a big emphasis on hot air balloon travel. Like, they kind of get it to move around and function in some kind of way. There's also ballasts? Why, why don't we have those? Why isn't that a toy on launch? Now, I know this is the cinematic trailer and not the gameplay trailer, and the balloons are suspiciously absent from the gameplay trailer, but come on. They show how huge the world is and how necessary it is to have the balloons for travel, but making them one way just doesn't work out, and it's so weird and dishonest in the advertising for, again, what's a great game. They made the trailer. They set the release date for December 7th, if, if the feature wasn't ready, they could have just, you know, chosen a little bit of a later release date maybe, or at least have it function, or focus on the toys actually being functionable. I mean, you can kind of do some neat things with this and make it work, and some people have cooked up some kind of contraptions, but overall, like, yeah, this is, this is definitely like a work-in-progress alpha feature in a released game. Now, I expect everything to get updated and everything to eventually come together, but man, not cool. Yo, and just let us repair tools. In Minecraft, you put it into the crafter, and then they combine, and that's just really nice. It's also weird because there's the essence table. Enchanting in LEGO Fortnite was not something I expected, and it just kind of popped up and happened, 
but it also seems kind of weak. Now, it's not expensive to do 10 granite slabs and a rough amber, but the essence of durability doesn't feel like it does a crazy amount. So I wish the enchantments were just a little more powerful. And then look at all these different kinds of machines that are inside of the game. We could have a repair station. You put in the item, it tells you what resource you need to repair it, and then it repairs it and it preserves what you already have. And no, the chest exploit doesn't count as repairing durability. It's unintended, it's cheating. Now since making this video, the cheat has been fixed and the devs have been constantly patching their game with all kinds of updates and quality of life fixes, nerfing the Brute's poison attack, grapplers being able to be used 30 times, crazy durability fixes, 60% for rare and epic tools. There was an issue after they tried to buff durability by 30%, but tools are lasting much longer. We heard feedback that food in LEGO Fortnite wasn't reducing hunger very much, so we made adjustments to make your snacks more filling, and we fixed a bug that might have made you lose items after being eliminated in the transition between above ground and below ground. And then another update, we've increased the stack size of many items from 30 to 50. I knew the backpack and inventory management was tough, but not even I put this in the original video. This game's going to continue to get crazy amounts of support, so I'm confident we're also going to see a lot of what's in this video and also what's coming up in the rest of the video. Now, I know the game is going to get better and better over time, but I just want to see the gameplay eventually match what we saw in the trailer a bit more. The caves look in a bit... Like, yeah, there's actual mine shafts and things to explore and everything is already built up. And then this, what also seems like a dynamic boss fight, is actually just a brute and it's a standard enemy. So I would like to see an evolution of all the things in the trailer as well as just the starting image or the title screen. I also find it weird that creative mode has things that don't seem to be in survival but also lack things from survival mode initially that unless you go out there and harvest the resource by hand to unlock the recipe you don't have it unlocked even in creative mode. I want to build a grappling hook for the next segment of this video but I can't and if you haven't gotten like the specific resource or metal like you have to play survival mode to build everything out to then be able to test it in creative mode. Also, I understand creative mode having exclusive things in like Minecraft or admin items and stuff, but why don't we have access to all the foundations as well? I haven't found out how to unlock these in a simple way. I've built up mo multiple villages. It just seems like the really big ones, you, they're a part of a foundation for the pre-builds, but you just can't build them yourself. Oh yeah, and auto stacking. Sheesh, why can't everything just kind of go into the same stack when I hit E on an inventory? And please, give us a trash can or a way of deleting items. I hate my inventory filling up from a couple of skeletons entering the village or just while out and about raiding. It's really annoying to have to throw things on the ground and then you accidentally pick them up. Awesome. Also, the first patch needs to fix the smelter job. I really need those bars, but it keeps glitching out. Every time I talk, dude, it's just an arbitrary number and I never get resources. This has happened with multiple characters in multiple villages, and I've rebuilt the smelter and it just doesn't work. The next thing that should be in LEGO Fortnite, zip lines. It's already in base Fortnite, and it seems like a structure that you could just build and set up around your world, or at least making short point travel a lot more interesting and easier. Spend some resources and set up a zip line to the nearest cave to your base. That just sounds really cool. And that's why I wanted to build a grappler so I could show spider manning around my world and being like, hey, how cool would it be if you could actually set up a zip line using the grappler? It would also give more uses for other resources. You bring cord on you and then you can string cord and that's how you set up your zip line. I also feel like there needs to be better customization with the world. I'm not talking about the advanced settings these are fine but the ability to change the settings it says settings cannot be changed once a world is created that's really bad if you encounter problems or realize yo temperature and stamina suck the way the world creation is set up is that if you make a mistake or if you need to change something you just have to start over and make an entire new playthrough and that's not cool and even Minecraft has commands, so you enable that, and then you can change game rules on the fly or go into creative mode if you need to fix a game-breaking problem. And then there's other limitations, like there's no edit, there's no copy, there's no remaking a world, and that can lead to a lot of problems, especially because the game is very buggy. Especially because there's a lot of world issues, people are not having their worlds load, a big one is that you load in and you can't move at all. It also doesn't spawn in your village or anything. A lot of people are having this issue. A lot of multiplayer servers are having this issue. I had this issue and I thought my world was done and it was bricked. But after waiting for an hour, it 
fixed itself. Maybe that happens to everyone. Maybe some people have just completely lost worlds to the problems. So being able to duplicate a world might be a way of fixing this problem. It's also why I couldn't get footage for using the grappler and talking about the zipline stuff. And another thing they need to add to LEGO Fortnite, how do we not have a backpack charm? That seems like a really balanced way of expanding the inventory, and the inventory, like, I'm fine with it, but it seems a little small when you need to go out and get, like, 10 stacks of all the resources from a biome that's super far away, and it turns out that's not enough, so you still have to make multiple trips. Give us a balanced backpack. Like, I'll sink all my resources just for a couple extra rows. I don't even need all of this. Yeah, like, you, you make an inventory totem. There's a second page somewhere for inventory that just gives you an extra row. And then you have to kind of make a compromise. Oh, do I want to be, like, stronger? Do I want these extra effects? Or do I just stack three inventory totems that only give me an, a scaling amount of armor just so I can have the extra slots on an adventure? And then the last thing I want to see in LEGO Fortnite is a balance to some of the recipes. I get survival games are supposed to be grindy. I get the end game is going to be padded out by needing to get crazy amounts of resources. But two bright core for a bar is not cool, especially when you need to get stacks of bars. I mean, you need multiple stacks of bright core. I mean, look at this, 20 iron bars. And that's not even for the level 10 Frostlands Village, so you need three inventory slots, which are super valuable since it can't be expanded, just to get one stack of bars, and those stacks go quick with the upgrades or weapons. A longsword, that's 12 iron bars. Can, can that just be dialed down to like, nine, please? Same thing for this, I mean, we're going from five damage to seven damage, and it costs 12 copper bars? That would be fair at six and then fine you're going to hold on to your iron longsword for a bit and then that can be you know nine or ten or something but even then like you just go through so many and fine don't nerf bright core down to one as long as you just put it in the frost caves but no you build a base in the frost lands or you have like a starter base out in the plains and then your desert is forever away i got lucky that mine are kind of close but some people aren't that lucky they get invested into a seed and then they realize they are screwed I have to go all the way back to the desert, get a crazy inventory of bright core, explore multiple caves, and that's going to be just barely enough bright core for all of the resources I need. And God forbid you want to light up your village and make it look nice with lamps and stuff, that's three bright core! Just to have an exposed bulb and then all the other ones take one bright core. So yeah, you kind of have to make like five trips to the desert to eventually get everything you want. And that's, that gets a little annoying. Un unless the travel's fixed, then I guess it's fine. But there we go, guys. Those are the new things and features I want to see in LEGO Fortnite. It's still a great game. I'm still having tons of fun when it works and when like the stupid building doesn't frustrate me too much. And then it just shows there's infinite potential for this game because that's how survival crafters work. And it's so easy to make the game just a hundred times better immediately. So I think we can all look forward to that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.